everybody, this is Roxy, and I had a couple requests to show how to create your own uh, shaped pages, i.e. scalloped edged pages or um, fancy border pages. Uh, it's real simple if you just uh, learn a few of the um, tools that they have on Silhouette. And I'm assuming that the Cricut Explorer has the same kind of capabilities. They just might be um, labeled different names for their um, attributes or whatever. So first of all, what you want to do, I'm, I'm going to show how to first make a scalloped edged page. And there's two ways to do it. Um, you can go to the Silhouette store and buy a border that is a scalloped, has a scalloped border in it. And um, you can probably find a scalloped edge page. I'm going to see if they have one. Let's see if they have anything here. They've got some here, like those. But um, if you want to make this edge round, more rounded or larger or, you know, in between these two or um, whatever, you can change it up by... Um, bind the border that is a scallop or using um, circles to create your own. So I've got this border scallop, I have this one, I've got this kind of a scallop strip. <coughs> These are toppers that I made myself. Um, I don't know if you can see them, but I made them for some little notebooks I have. Um, these are all scallop pages that I made that have circles and that's the one that I used this is the one I used for my um, December daily month one so I will just show you with a border and I'm just gonna put in border that's how I name my um, dealios here so you could make this uh, edged border so I think I'll do that because I, I'm going to show you how to make a different kind of scalloped edge. So we'll try it with one of these guys or let's see. Yeah, this would be cute. Okay, so of course that's grouped. We want to ungroup it. And I think I'm going to do the grass one. Oops. So I'm just going to get rid of these. Um, I just want to change its... Uh, attribute to get about where you need it. I'm going to enlarge this so you can see what I'm doing here. I mean this is like super duper simple. So go back to your um, select tool and just bring that up there. You can you don't need to have it right at the edge here. You can kind of move it up so um, it's a little easier. And if you can see how thick dark this line is and you can see that that's not quite on the line. And you can just kind of fudge with that a little bit. That's where it helps to turn it up a little bit. And then, and see if it was snapped to grid, it would only snap to that grid that's right there. Okay. So then you can object and group these. And then I want that's not welded yet. They're still separate pieces so to speak. Um, it's best to, to weld them so that you won't get any cut line here. Um, so first what I want to do is kind of size it. So I'm going to go to my scale. I'm going to take off the lock aspect because if I don't it's only gonna it's gonna move these the side and the tops only all together. You know I see what I mean? But if I take that lock aspect off, I can change these numbers to what exactly what I want. So I want a 5 by 7 and then apply. Okay. Now if I went to cut this, it's going to cut both these lines inside here. That's where the weld tool comes in. So all you have to do is highlight everything, meaning the rectangle and the border. 
and just go to modify weld and you lose those lines and you've got a really cute little page here. Now there is a little bit of a dent here and I could work on that so I could just, and there it's a lot better cut. See it's more, it's perfect down here and perfect up there. So another way to do, uh, like if you want to make a really funky scallop border, just create your rectangle. And it doesn't matter what size it is, because once you make it, you can um, resize it with the lock aspect off. So then you just take the circle tool, create a circle. And here's where the um, locked lock aspect for the scale where the scale go? Nerps. The scale too to have that lock aspect off. It's this the circle is oddball. It's like nine point or point nine six five on the side and then point eight eight three. Well if I I can move that all I want, it's never gonna be a perfect circle. But if I take off lock aspect, I can make it a perfect circle. So I can just go leave that old nine eight three and change this to 0984 and you have a perfect whoops well it wouldn't work if I did it right we hit the wrong numbers there and that's a perfect circle so then you put this right up here and this is where you're going to want to make sure it's it's meeting pretty well there and stay clicked onto the circle or have the circle highlighted and go to replicate and column of four and we'll need a couple more so we can just do duplicate below and below and that actually ended up perfect so sometimes you're gonna have to um, it might not end up perfectly on the edge down here it might be up here it might be over then you can just move your rectangle up and down until it connects. So I'm just going to take a peek at that, that edge down here. I think it looks pretty good. Maybe just a little there. And that's something once you cut it out you can always you know snip it off with your scissors. Um, but it's pretty good and I don't think it's going to be noticeable to the human eye, the normal human eye, not our human eyes where we get a little bit too picky. So we can go modify weld and there's a scallop border. Okay now when you have it all welded together you can change your page size and the scallops will change with it. That's why you need to weld it. You could use a border and just you know widen the border one way or the other but it's not it's going to change the whole look of the um, border itself. Now I can show you that. So say you took move this out of the way. Say you took one of these borders and just tried to enlarge this. That's what you're going to get. So that's why you need to make your own border or weld you could but at the same time you could weld this border to uh, rectangle and uh, it'll be fine so let's just do a really quick here and then you can so the integrity of the border stays the way it should look. Okay. So now that we have that, now if we have this made, what we can also do is put a little tiny circle inside there. And I'm just going to go to scale. Always make sure you're on your select tool, otherwise you're just going to make another circle. And this is, uh, I'm going to make this 0.234. So 
this is where you gotta really have a good eyeball but for this scallop we actually have one inch size circles so it's gonna be a little bit easier that looks oh see that I thought that looked lopsided I didn't unlock aspect see didn't do my own thing okay so circles in the scallop um, so you can also take frames um, like the one I did for my uh, ice cream cone card where did I use? I think I used this one. So any of your frames you can use um, as borders. I think I'm going to try something else too. This is just kind of trying something while we're showing. So we want to ungroup these. Oh yeah, I'll do something kind of cool that I haven't done before. So I just thought of it. Um, so, I, I, you know, let's say I just want to use this bottom border here. All right. So I'm going to take all this happy birth. I'm going to first duplicate it because I kind of got an idea for it. All right. So I don't want all of that, all those words or letters. But if I, there is, you can ungroup it because it's made that way. But you can release the compound path. And you see all those little things? You want to click off the item because you don't want to delete the frame. You just want to go in and delete all those letters. And that's by releasing the compound path. Okay, so now um, I'll take a rectangle. So I want this to be on the bottom of my card, okay? And then we're just going to create the rectangle, any size, and we'll fudge with it later. Now, um, decide where you want, what kind of border you want on the bottom. Like, you could just take it right up to this point. Right there, I'm going to enlarge it a bit. Okay. And then right up to the point. i got to go over a little bit over here. All right, and then, uh, oops, modify weld. So you've got this really pretty border. Now I'm going to do a, a, I'll show the cut lines. Okay, so that is how I made the uh, page for my ice cream card, and I'll show a picture of that. And again, it, it, doesn't distort the frame at all. But now what I just thought of when I was doing this here, I can take this and size this down. Oops. Cut this out of, you know, another piece. Or there. So I could cut this out of another piece and I've got a pretty frame for my frame. So that would be a cute little birthday card or top for a birthday card. Put some ribbons and stuff up here. But um, I, I'm going to show this technique with a different frame too so you can kind of see what all you can do. These, I think these are print. I think that's a print file. Um, put the little birdies on top. Okay, so I'm going to... Um, copy all of this over here because I'm going to need it all except for these I don't need to duplicate that okay so then we're going to take our rectangle and stick out <coughs> and then we will and then we will modify weld did I lose something on there okay Okay, so now we're going to take this stuff and bring it back over here. So then you've got kind of a, a thicker piece for that branch. And then, whoops, I lost my eyeball. And then just take the rest of these guys, you know, cut them out or whatever, and put them on your card. 
Ooh, there's that. That would be a cute card too, and then we'll show the cutting lines. Um, so yeah, these pieces you'd cut out separate on your papers. All of this. This would be a different, probably brown. And then when you put your piece of your card together, you've got all your little pieces. helps and I hope it um, gets you to kind of thinking outside the box on what you can do with your um, images that you purchase you know you don't have to have a lot because you can modify a lot of them and um, I'm uh, probably going to be making a lot more of these because they're fun to make and it's fun to create them and it gets your mind thinking outside that box and you know like on um, on this one or the other one that we, you know, the happy birthday one, it really gets you kind of thinking of something, other ways to do stuff. So I hope you have fun with your silhouette and cricket. Thanks for watching. Bye.